I simply won't do that. No, I will not enforce. Rico Bambino owner Jason Alton says he's taking a stand and is refusing to comply with the government's orders to enforce the vaccine passport. I will not ask my staff. I will not put my staff in harm's way. Um, I cannot be part of anything that's going to cause a further divide in our community, further segregation, further discrimination. We are not going to enforce. We are not going to do this. I absolutely refuse. Alton says despite potential consequences, he wants to put up a fight. I am worried if, you know, we have to close or if that's forced upon us. But as far as customers, we've had an overwhelming response. People love what we're doing. They support it. Alton says he is concerned for his staff safety. Verbal assaults, potentially physical assaults. You've seen what has happened when people have been asked to wear a mask. The mandate goes into effect on September 13th for most non-essential businesses. All gyms are on the list. Brett Barker, the president and CEO of Anytime Fitness in Lay Country, says he will not comply with the government's demands to enforce vaccination. My specific industry has received nothing but restrictions, mandated closures uh, when our current solution isn't working. I mean, we live in a we live in a country that is uh, free and. Uh, it needs to stay that way. Parker says he's received a lot of support from clients. Multiple people stopping me in my workouts and thanking me for my stance. Uh, two of them had medical exemptions, and he told me that uh, my stance uh, meant everything to him and uh, his ability to continue to come to the gym. Thousands of other businesses across BC have shared similar perspectives. A Facebook group called BC Businesses Against Health Pass has over 60,000 members. The group shares lists of businesses that believe a vaccine passport in BC is unconstitutional. At this time, it is unclear how the government intends to monitor the measures and what penalties businesses could face if they do not comply. Castanet has reached out to the Ministry of Health, who has yet to comment. Madison Earhart, Castanet News, Kelowna.